Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is the 4th of July. Yay. Uh, you're in, you know, America. <laughs> Happy Independence Day to y'all. I forgot it was Canada Day, I guess, a couple of days ago. Maybe I'm more about that one. So ha happy belated Canada, uh, yeah, Canadian Day, Canada Day to y'all celebrating as well. I hope everyone's doing all right. Long weekend. Uh, it's Monday, I suppose, depending on where you are. But yeah, today's problem is 135 candy. Hmm. Okay, so the end, end children in the line, giving a rating, giving ratings. Okay, you're giving candy, sub okay. Each child must have one candy. A child with a higher rating gets more candy than the neighbors. Okay. We turn the minimum number of candies you have to distribute uh, to the children. Okay. So, I mean, intuitively, the first is some sort of... Um, my, my first idea is just going to be some sort of... Maybe not quite simulation, but some sort of greedy where, you know, you basically do it... Let's say you have one candy, and then if... If it, um if that child has more uh or higher rating than its neighbor, then then you know um you just give more candy and so forth. I I think I'm very hand hand wavy on that explanation, but but we can take a look. Um, let's see for the, the, the one two one. Okay, so yeah, so basically I would start. Hmm, let me think what I need to. So, yeah, I mean, I think my idea would be to sort by, um, yeah, I think it would be sort by rating and then going from the lowest candy uh, or lo lowest rating first, that will allow you to get it. Um, only I think the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is just this like equalness. I think that thing is not super clear to me how to get um, a distinct ordering, right? Um, and yeah, and, and obviously we cannot do one uh, thing at a time or one candy at a time because I think the number of candies is going to be n square. I think you can use it construct an n squared type thing, which in this case, 2 times 10 to the 4th squared is going to be 4 times 10 to the 8th, which is you know, a lot of candies. Um, so, okay. Mm, what do I think about? I mean, I think the sorting thing is probably the idea. Hmm. <clears throat> What is n again? N is 2 times 10 to the 4th. So I have also another idea that would be uh, n square um, with a technique. I, um, I, I just could do, you know, like for every one, um, you basically make one, one uh, fix one candy almost. But, um, but that's going to be n square, and n square is too slow, right? Hmm, I feel like I have an intuitive thing to it, but yeah, one and then two and then one. Yeah, I think the sorting has a very good idea, but I feel like there is it's very easy to get one when it is the same uh, adjacent, right? Does that happen? Mm. I guess not. I think on adjacent. Maybe I maybe I just thought to think about it. I mean, my initial thought is that if the if the two adjacent same rating, then it's kind of hard to figure out the tie breaking. But maybe it doesn't matter because they because in the sense that there are only um, a number of cases, right? One is maybe in this case. Well, in this case, does it really matter what order it is? So we give this one. Um, so because if we give this two first, then we give a one, and then this two, we'll just give a two, right? Um, if we do it the other way around, it's the same thing. Two and then two, this two, we just see a one, so we put a one. So maybe it doesn't really add, matter. If we have an other two, does the order matter? Um, now still here, if we do this this the second uh, this one first, this will have two, and then eventually this one will be a one, and this one will be a one, right? Um, 
Yeah. I think another way that we can do it though, I mean, so, okay. So I think I'm convinced that sorting doesn't matter or sorting and, and then the equal weighting doesn't matter. But I think the way that I'm actually thinking about it and now that uh, I feel like I'm, I've been a little bit slow in that regards because I think it's been on my mind as soon as I read the poem, but for some reason I kind of put it in the back of my mind. But one thing that you can do is almost, um, you could kind of draw a dependency graph, right? Uh, I think this is like more basic, I wouldn't say basic, but with the right graph theory stuff, it is more basic, which is that you can draw um, an app, basically an arrow here, for example, from two to one and so forth. And once you have all these things, then you can do a topological sort. Um, and I think, so a regular sorting is going to be O of n log n, just because that's how sorting works. Like you would sort by the, the, the value and then, yeah. Um, and that'll be n log n, especially for a comparison based one. Or, you know, you could do a linear sort, but I always ignore linear sort for now for the sake of argument. Um, but if we do a top logical sort, right? If we do a top logical sort, uh, it's going to be uh, we plus y, where y is at most two, two for each. A node which is you know to one to the left and one to the right so that's going to be o of v which is o of n which is linear time so let's do it that way let's be a little bit good on the independence day and uh and yeah let's see okay so um, and i think the way that i'm going to, there are a couple of ways you can do topological sort of course depth for search for or the other one but the way that i'm going to do it is um yeah just removing dependency right so okay so basically um, how do i say this <laughs> sorry friends um yeah so so was it in uh man i'm a little bit not in shape today so i, I actually also just to do a quick update you know this is a really late update uh, i was in i, I traveled to philly uh, uh uh, I took a bus for two hours and then also took a two hour bus back plus an extra like hour each way to the bus station and all this st and waiting and stuff. So I'm kind of very tired, uh, but uh, that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. So, okay. So in degree link n is equal to length of waiting in degree is equal to z zero times n, right? And we want to, well, actually not in degree, we want out degree, right? Um, and what I mean by that is that basically, um, you know, in topological sort, we want to we want to get basically get the numbers that have no no inward or no yeah no inward uh, or no outward dependency left because in that case then you can process that number. Okay, fine. Um, okay, so if Ratings of i is greater than ratings of i minus one. Our degree of i. I know we have to. I know that we have to do some. Uh, you know, i minus one is greater than zero stuff. Balance checking. And if i plus one is less than n, and i is greater than ratings of i plus one, our degree i is equal to. You know, we increment it. And then now we just have to do a. a and, and keeping in mind that because our degree can be at most two, we really only need like a couple of passes, so um, or like two or three passes. So we have a Q, right? Oops, how did that get indented incorrectly? And then we do it again, which I guess we actually could have done it. I was just let's do something like our degree of i is equal to zero. Then you know Q dot um, append i. But of course, in this case, um, we check it right after this. So I think we could do it just here. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay. So then now, while length of Q is greater than... I also wonder, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. We'll see what I... I mean, I, this is going to be correct. This is going to be maybe a little bit uh, uh, whatever. But, but I wonder if there's an easier, more, more uh, intuitive solution. But I guess we'll see afterwards. Uh, and see maybe we passed that we got it too. We have current is equal to q dot pop left. Uh, oh, I have to do the. Mm, okay, so yeah, so do, 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 maybe uh, let's just start with none. 
and then we don't return that we just return sum of answer um but yeah okay so then now uh okay so answer of current is equal to uh one say and then answer of current is equal to max of answer current and then ends of current plus one because that's uh if if current plus one is less than n and rating sub current is greater oops sub current plus one um right minus one so wait basically what i'm doing now is just relaxing of okay if and I, I think I missed a plus one. Hang on. Um, because the plus one will allow us to get, uh, you know, more than his neighbors and minimally more than his neighbor, right? So, yeah. And then now, um, yeah, okay. I was going to maybe write it out a little bit better, but maybe this is just the way it is. Uh, if this is great, do, 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 do. Uh, then our degree of current minus one is uh, with that commanded if our degree of current minus one is equal to zero q dot append current minus one this is actually kind of eh, yucky to be honest i mean it's the, i think the idea is pretty straightforward but there's just a lot of, mm, a lot of typing i think i could have in, um i could change this into a for loop or something but eh, maybe it's too late now <laughs> Uh, yeah, and hopefully this is right. Let me just do a print statement here for debugging, uh, preemptively debug just because there's a lot of easy, silly ways to get it wrong. Uh, okay, that looks okay. Um, let's just uh, just some cases. Um, It's just me banging on the keyboard, so that these numbers don't mean anything, just in case you are curious. Cool. I mean, I guess that looks okay. I don't know that these are representative examples of cases, but it's good enough for me to run and uh, submit. And hopefully it'll be good. I've kind of been wrong in the past, but today, Larry is victorious on the first go. 825-day streak. Yay. Um, cool. So what is complexity here? Again, this is a topological sort. So we do it in the order of the lowest number and not even necessarily the lowest number actually, technically. It's just the one with the lowest dependency. So um, this is going to be V plus Y. And as we said, Y is going to be the number, um, you know, there are at most two edges for each node going left or the right. So, so it's going to be O of N or linear time. In terms of space, there's answer and out degree and the queue. So it's gonna be linear space uh, times degree, if you wanna say that. I don't know, that's really awkward actually. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have for this one. I am curious, like I said, if there's an easier way, I'm curious also what happened two years ago. What did I, what did old Larry do two years ago? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I guess I did it kind of the same way. Hmm. I wonder if the logic's the same. There's some, seems very breath. I mean, the the code looks very similar. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's the same idea. Do I got the wrong answer there? So let's see, what did I get wrong? Oh, hmm. What did I, how did I fix it? I just, was it just a typo? I guess I have a typo somewhere. Um, too lazy to it, but. Okay, so what did I do last year? Hmm. Okay, last year I did the sorting thing that we talked about. So this is n log n. Um, we actually, I mean, we talked about it in this video. So yeah, and it's okay. Um, like I said, this is n log n instead of o of n. So today I thought about doing it. That, um, yeah, I don't know. So that's pretty much all I have for this one, though. Let me know what you think. Um, have a great weekend or long weekend or what's left of it. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. 
I'll see you later. Um, yeah. All right. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>